everyone, welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm Rebecca Felgate, your most amazing host, and today we are talking about the top 10 people who were caught cheating and had the worst excuses. Before we launch into this video, I just want to remind you guys that we have some awesome merch on sale, and we're about to get a whole new 2018 line too. Hurrah! Okay. Cheaters, how are you covering your tracks today? Spoiler, not well, not well. Coming in at number 10, we have the guy who spilled something. Hmm. In a clip from the TV show Divorce Court, a guy explains to host Lynn Toller that his wife was mistaken when she found a woman in her underwear at her home. Actually, he wasn't cheating. Oh, no, 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 no. Instead, the man, a personal trainer, had accidentally spilled something on the woman, so she needed to take her clothes off. Obviously. He was shirtless too because he's very comfortable with his body and that's how he likes to train his clients at his house while his wife is out. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. The video has had over 60,000 views. I got a trainer too, but I've never been over his house in my bra and panties. Okay, so this story comes from someone I know, but I don't want to name names, so I'm going to make fake ones. Let's call them Cheryl and Tony. Coming into number nine, we have the posh jerk off. What? So Tony, a guy I used to know, was caught with a used condom in his coat pocket by his wife Cheryl. She A knew that the condom wasn't used on her and B realized that a coat pocket is a very strange place to keep that kind of immediately disposable trash. When she confronted him, he simply said that he'd had a posh wank at work, which like A, what is a posh wank anyway, is that even a thing? And B, I thought boys hated condoms. So, also at work, you're an animal. They stayed together for a while, at least, and then it was very over. Coming into number eight, we have the guy who just like didn't know that she was there. Another classic from divorce court. One dude claimed to have not known that there was a woman in his bed. He was like, oh, what's she doing there? He said that he rolled over, woke up, and was as shocked as his wife was to see him lying next to another woman. He said that she must have somehow got the wrong bed and snuck in. He said, and I quote, I was like, whoa, yeah. I don't think so, hun. I don't think so. I'm like, yo. Are you seriously in my bed? Similar at number seven, we have this guy who said that he had sex in his sleep. I mean, it happens to me all the time, except it doesn't. This clip comes from Steve Wilco's show, and in it, Steve is talking to a man accused of cheating and getting another woman pregnant. He said no, he didn't, although he did say that the girl in question might have had sex with him while he was asleep. Now, I don't know how many men have managed to fully have sex and ejaculate in their sleep, but if this is the case, he's probably some kind of sleepwalking sex hero. Or the victim of rape. I guess he's basically saying that this woman raped him, so not a very nice accusation. Just own up, bro. Did, did you have sex with her? Hell no, Steve. It can't be no way. She had to take a while to sleep. This guy got caught cheating on his phone, but when he was caught, he simply said he was doing the mannequin challenge. This harebrained excuse is coming into number six. The one minute video has had over 100,000 views, and the moment that the dude notices that he's been caught and being filmed, he just like freezes, and it's so freaking awkward. The mannequin challenge. I need to write that one down. I guess maybe the next time my boyfriend catches me eating all the cheese in the fridge, I'll just like freeze with the cheese. It's art, really. If anything, it's it's art. Jesus told this guy to do it at number five. Oh, Jesus, you cad. This story was shared on the Daily Star website by Ian of Belfast. He said, my wife has always been deeply religious, and to my shame, I'll admit, I tried to use that to my advantage. When she found some flirtatious texts on my phone to another woman, I told her that Jesus wanted me to do it in the hope that divine intervention would save me. I'm sure you know how this story goes. He then said, as it turns out, Jesus might save lives, but he couldn't save my marriage. Jesus, it's fickle that way. Another dubious excuse from a cheater who got caught, this guy called the police to report his mistress as a burglar at number four. 39 year old Mark from Manchester said his wife came home just as his mistress was leaving. He said, I did what every man would do in that situation. I called the police on my mistress and claimed she was a burglar. 
Oh Mark, so many bad decisions. Mark makes bad decisions. Turns out that Mark got an official warning and managed to break up with two women in one day. At a boy. Coming in at number 3, we have the girl who got caught doing laundry with a broken thermostat. This is an absolute Jerry Springer classic. I love me a bit of Jezza drama. In this clip uploaded to the Jerry Springer YouTube account in 2016, a man says he caught his girlfriend in suspicious circumstances at a friend's house with her clothes off and the sheets off the bed. Her excuse? Well, the sheets were off for laundry and her clothes were off because the house was too hot. Why was the house too hot? The thermostat was broken. Okay, sure. Sure. And uh, the thermostat was broken, that's why she didn't have her clothes on. Coming in at number two, I'm baffled by this, we have the guy whose dad gave him a hickey as a joke. Like this is very far beyond parental boundaries and I would be very concerned if it wasn't overwhelmingly fake. So a picture of a text message went viral on Twitter in September 2016 with over 11,000 likes. My faves trash tweeted a text from a person called Alex that reads, I told my dad yesterday I was going to see you today and he thought it would be funny to jump on me and wake me up. He gave me a hickey. It was like really huge. My mum said I looked like white trash. Um, okay, your dad gave you a hickey, sure. Sure, like what a ridiculous excuse. I'm not actually sure what's worse, the fact that they clearly cheated or that they thought their dad giving them a hickey was a totally legit above board cover up. Divorce court is the gift that keeps on giving and I don't know why I don't spend more of my life wasting more time watching it because this is golden. Finally, at number one, we have the guy who said a woman slingshot a pair of underwear into the back of his car while he was driving. I feel like the answer of how did these get there should never be a woman slingshotting them at me. Like, is that an excuse? <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. A woman said she found a pair of underwear in her husband's car. Firstly, he said he had no idea how they got there. Then he said that he could have been driving with a window open and a woman on the street just slingshotted them through his open window. I mean, if that was the case, I'd be really highly impressed at her aim. But it turns out I'm not impressed and you're just a cheater, buddy, and a terrible liar. Now, I could have been driving down the street with the one with the music up, somebody, a lady might have slingshot them through the back. Are you serious? So guys, that was the top 10 people who were caught cheating with the worst excuses. Moral from this video, don't cheat on people and if you do, think of a better excuse, but mainly don't cheat. The karma police will get you. So guys, thank you for watching this episode of Most Amazing. I'm your most amazing host, Rebecca Felgate. Do let me know if you've ever been on the receiving end of a ridiculous cheating excuse or if you have ever given a crazy excuse for yourself. Spill the tea in the comments section and I'm gonna sip and read and respond. For now, please do leave this video with a hearty thumbs up, share it with a friend and stay subscribed for more most amazing videos. <laughs>